Like you don't have to be woke and broke. Right. So I, I say this to the person that's conscious, the person that thinks that they have to live a certain way. No, you are able to acquire whatever you want to acquire. We're having the uncomfortable conversation. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Yo, what up, YouTube? G. Brian here, and I'm back with another video. Listen, shout out to the G Code Society. I appreciate you guys holding me down. Um, if you don't know who I am, I'm owner of X28 Fitness and the Loft Athletic Club. These are two companies that I've built in the past. But listen, what I want to do here on YouTube, I want you to reach your highest power, your highest space. I'm all about God, energy, and elevation, and that is the G Code. So let's get into this video. I want to talk about something that's a little touchy. Uh, and the, the title of this video is You Don't Have to Be Woke and Broke. Right. And what I've seen along my journey, you know, I've been many places. I always say I live many lives in one lifetime. I always call myself a truth seeker. What I've seen on social media throughout the years, what I've seen in the culture is that people think that when you're woke, that you have to be broke, meaning that you have to be maybe in the woods all the time, you know, living to the bare minimum, not trying to acquire resources. But understand that when you become of a higher conscience, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to, you know, become a lower functioning human in the world. And a lot of people look at me and I've gotten comments in the past about, you know, what have I acquired in my life and things of that nature. And I say, yeah, I'm, I, I call myself conscious to a certain extent, but that don't mean I got to be broke. Right. And when you understand the human experience for what it is, you can live your human experience, acquire what you want to acquire in your human experience, experience as long as you understand it for what it is. So I will say one at one point in my life, I've always had a wokeness to me, so to speak. I've always been a truth seeker and I did acquire many things, but it was out of ego. Right. It was to fulfill my ego. There, there wasn't really no reasoning behind it that was deeply layered within myself. So I will call myself a person that was of the world. But when you get to a certain level of consciousness, in my opinion, and you start to acquire things because you like them. Right. Nobody said you had to be woke and that you couldn't like things. Right. And if you look into um, any of the ancient books or ancient civilizations, if you look in the Bible, you look at anything, a lot of the greatest rulers or a lot of the people that were closest to God, they did have kingdoms. They did have things. So I believe that you are supposed to get what you want to get out of your human experience as long as you understand the uh, reasoning and the rationale behind them and you're not living for your ego. Right. So there was a point in my life where I did strip myself of everything, everything that I had bought an ego. Um, this happened. I would say about 2020, I had went to Peru. Um, I participated in ayahuasca. I did some ceremonies and um, things of that nature. And this was even before I even came back to where I'm at now with my, with my spiritual beliefs. Um, you know, this was when I was still truth seeking. But after that, I had a, like an ego dissolution. You know, I kind of just sat to myself and I was like, yo, I don't need none of this stuff. And my identity was wrapped up in those things. It was wrapped up in the jewelry. It was wrapped up in the watches to a certain extent. It was wrapped up in, this, in the designer belts and the sneakers and things of that nature. And I literally just gave all of it away. I sold all my jewelry um, and I just lived a very simple lifestyle. Um, to this day, I haven't worn jewelry in a, in, in a few years, but I still like jewelry. Like I'm going to buy jewelry. I just don't feel the need to do so right now. I like nice cars. I enjoy cars within my human experience, but I also enjoy talking to you. I enjoy reading books. I enjoy getting to the depths of myself. So if you're one of these people that think, you know, when you become spiritual that you got to go sit on a rock and be a mystic or something like that, um, you don't have to. I actually call that, in my opinion, it's called like drama. It's like mystic drama because your whole life now gets wrapped around becoming this spiritual person and showing people how spiritual you are. And that's ego in itself. So, you know, I don't really have an opinion on it. That's just kind of like what I call it. And I don't judge anyone. But, you know, I just want people to understand that this is all our first human experience. And no one truly has the answers on how you live this life for right or for wrong. But God. Right. And if you sit in God and you feel like you're OK with God and you feel like you're doing what you need to do for your life, that's the only judgment. That's the only approval you need. Right. You don't need any permission from anybody else. You don't need any permission to be great. You don't need any permission to do and buy what you want to buy and do what you want to do as long as you understand the rationale behind it. See, my life is free now. When I was wrapped up and I felt like I was, you know, going on this conscious path and I was truth seeking and I was going deeper into myself, but also I was of the world and I was doing things for ego and I was seeking attention and seeking, you know, people to know me for this and for that, you know, that was wrong in my opinion. And I, I say there's no right or wrong, but that was wrong for me. Right. And I will tell you this. Right. When you start purchasing and, and, and you're conscious and you're just purchasing, 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 you're trying to get all these things, you're trying to acquire all these things, it puts a lot of pressure on you, real too. 
Because if you're exposing yourself to the world and your life is predicated on those things, that's what the world starts to know you as. See, when I sat in those dark rooms for two years, I left social media for two years, when I meditated and when I wanted to figure out who I wanted to be, I realized that I wanted to give my world my truth. I didn't want the world to know me for things. I didn't want people clapping for me for things. I wanted people when they, when they praised me, I didn't want them to praise me, I wanted them to praise God. When they saw me, I wanted to say, yo, listen, I see, I see God working in your life. Right? So I had to get rid of those things. I had to understand them for what they was. I didn't want to just keep showing things. Right? And that's freedom. Right? Being able to know that you can have something and say, I don't really want that or I don't really need it, that's freedom. I was not at that point. Right. Had many things that happened in my life, you know, drinking a lot of alcohol. I needed alcohol. I needed this. I needed this. I needed women. I needed this. And I was lying to myself to give my own self validation. Sometimes you got to tell yourself the truth to set yourself free, because when you tell yourself the truth, you can never be exposed to a lie again because you already know the truth and no one can use a lie against you. So no one can tell me who I am or what I'm supposed to be doing. That's why I'm making this video about being woke and being broke. Like You don't have to be woke and broke. Right. So I, I say this to the person that's conscious, the person that thinks that they have to live a certain way. No, you are able to acquire whatever you want to acquire, in my opinion. You know, what I'm saying you could do what you want to do. Right. This is your human experience. But all just understand the underlying truths behind it and why you're doing it. Right. One thing I had to ask myself, you know, when I was on my journey and I was building businesses and I was, you know, you know, making a good amount of income was who am I doing it for? Right. And I used to lie to myself and I would say, yeah, I'm doing it for the you know, I'm doing it for the companies. I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it for the family. This was years ago when I first started out. I was very young. I went from sleeping on floors to phew, quit. Right. And when I got down to that truth that I was doing it for myself, that's when everything changed. I had to look at myself in the mirror and say, man, you're doing it for you. But when you decide to do things for people outside of you, that's where I'm at in my life. I serve. I like to do things for people outside of me. I like to see my team grow. I like to see my family grow. I like to see everybody be able to acquire. See, money brings opportunity. The energy exchange. Money is just the energy exchange. I'm able to exchange that energy and see everything grow. And guess what? I get blessed 10 times more for that. Right. And all I do is rinse and repeat. Right. So. You know, you may be at a point in your life where you have to fend for yourself. You may be at a point where you're deep in the books. You may be getting deep within yourself. You may be on this conscious journey, on this truth seeking journey. I'm going to tell you something about the journey, though. The journey is not about you figuring out anything. It's about you remembering everything that you already are. And when you come back to yourself, everything starts to make sense. That was my journey. I had to go around this world. I had to go around these things. I had to search all these things, lose possessions, lose ego, lose people, lose places, lose friends, become woke, so to speak. And when I got back to myself, God was waiting for me the whole time saying, I was just waiting for you to open your eyes. <laughs> I was just waiting for you right here the whole time. And I had to that guy up like, yo, what's happening? You know what I mean? We good? Like, you know what I mean? We going to the next level now? Oh, I get it. I'm free. I'm free. So understand these conscious decisions that you're making on a day-to-day -day basis. Understand what you got going on in your life and understand that God is your only judge, right? And if you get to a point where humans are trying to judge you and they're trying to tell you how to live your life, no one is the almighty ruler. Nobody, nobody has the almighty together with God. So I just wanted to bring some truths to your life. If you feel like this video resonated with you in any way, I want you to hit the like button. I want you to subscribe. I want you to make sure you follow me on all my socials. Follow me on Instagram. I'm very active on there as well. And I stand for three things. Listen, God, energy, elevation. Go get your merch right now. That's the G-Code. Peace.